<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back. No review yet, it's coming. Still gonna still wearing that uh uh Aqua the Geo dupe. Um just had a couple days off, so I want to get a couple more days in before I do it. So it'll be this week. Um well next week, Monday or Tuesday. Um but I did want to do a quick little video. Um first off, hat shirt. This is for the guy who said I should wear more collared shirts and less juvenile hats. You know who you are, motherfucker. Uh, this one's really going to piss you off. I mean, this is a tie-dyed, no sleeves, Pink Floyd, dark side of the moon or not. Anyway, drive you crazy in this hat to go with it because it kind of matches. So, hope it drives you nuts. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't care what people say, but I just wanted to do it to, to cheese him off. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about, uh, I, I was out today or yesterday looking at some stuff. Uh, never bought anything, um, but I got a new sample of that YSL, a couple samples of that YSL uh, Loam Eau de Parfum or Parfum. I can't remember which one it is. One of them. And, uh, I'm going to start looking at the YSLs and, geez, most of them are discontinued. And then I checked online and a chunk of them are going for a decent price. It's like, man, that's crazy. And a lot of them are going for a decent price that people love now. They didn't like. All, all team was one people were kind of hit or miss on. Now it's fucking, you know, the, the poster boy almost of the YSL, at least, discontinued fragrances. Or was it all team, or... I was one of them. There's so many of them. Forgive me. Um, so, yeah. So, I got thinking. Um, what colognes do I think are going to be like that? That once they're gone... Um, or gone for a while, anyway. They may not. But once they're gone, people are going to be... Like candies. Jesus Christ. It was a $20, $30 fucking drugstore walmart fragrance hey, like 200 bucks for the bottle i got now if i wanted it's half a bottle no cap maybe i should sell that i ain't never gonna wear it nah too much work <laughs> um anyway so i got five here that i think um one or two of them might already be discontinued um if they are i'm sorry i'm pretty sure one is and two of them might be so but uh basically these are five fragrances that i think that in the next coming few few years are probably going to be like that a couple hundred three hundred dollars a bottle maybe not um or not even that necessarily that much but just missed you know they're going to be yeah that's a better term they're going to be missed People go, ah, oh, you remember that fragrance by this, you know, that you know, really was good. It wasn't that bad. I wish I could get it again. And then they might go online and see that people are asking crazy amounts for it. Um, a nice mixture here, summer, spring, fall, all that jazz. I'm not going to get into that. You figure that out your own. Um, and I'm not going to get into a bunch of notes and reviews and stuff and longevity. Just a little bit about the cologne, maybe a bit about the performance if it's, but nothing major. Uh, so, let's go. And these aren't in any order, again, and as I say with every list, this is my five, not your five. You may disagree. That's cool. Let me know in the comments, but just don't be a dick. Um, so, let's, without any further ado, let's start with one that when I ever do something like this or talk about colognes in the future that are going to be worth a, either a lot of money or are just going to be missed, um, I always bring up this one, usually first. English Laundry, Windsor, Poor Home. Now, English Laundry is not a, a house most people will say, oh, wow, really? I don't think, but this is the exception. This is one of the nicest, if not the nicest, <sighs> pipe tobacco type scents I, I, I own, that I've smelled. And yes, I have uh, Angel Man Havana or whatever the hell it is. And, uh, it's classy. It, it literally smells. I can't put it in anybody than like a like a cherry pipe tobacco. 
you know, like Grampy used to smoke when I was a kid. It really reminds me of that. Um, and the performance, like I said, I'm not going to get majorly into it, but it's it's definitely based projection and longevity on me anyway. And uh, I really think in a few years, if this gets fucking discontinued, that people are going to miss it. They're going to be sorry they don't have it anymore. I really do, especially if they like, if you like tobacco scents, sweet pipe tobacco, and it's not overly sweet. It's, it's 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 just as much tobacco as sweetness. It just a bit of smokiness. It just smells like Grampy's pipe tobacco. <sighs> the next one is I'm not a big fan of citrus scent. I like citrus in my sense, but basically pure citrus scents just aren't my thing. They always kind of smell bug sprayish to me. Um, but this one doesn't. This one I really really like, and it's another one I think. If it ever goes away for good, people are really going to miss it. And that's uh, John Barbatos, Artist and Pure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just nice. The citruses are nice. They're not grindy citruses. They're not overly synthetic citruses. They're, they're not all that sweet either. They're, they're a sweet citrus, but they're not that sweet citrus you get from a lot of other citrus clones. And I really like the way it blends with that, that white must type base. Uh, the only knock on it's a performance, but it's a citrus scent. You know, a few hours, four or five hours. Um, doesn't project greatly, but it's a nice citrus scent. It's not supposed to really. Um, it projects really good for the first half hour or so, because I'm thinking it's grapefruit and ginger. I could be wrong off the top. That really sparkle, but then it kind of just dies down, but... It's so another one, if, if if they go away, I think people are going to be like, damn, where can I get a bottle of that on the cheap now? Next one is one I'm pretty sure is discontinued. Actually, I know it's discontinued. It's uh, a nice kind of gourmandy, coffee, slightly sweet, chocolatey scent. Uh, Play Intense by Givenchy. Um, yeah, it's a nice... The woody oriental it's got a lot of woods in it and better for the patchouli gives it a bit of a an earthy slightly chocolatey vibe the tonka beans in there giving it sweet but the main one is coffee i get a lot of coffee out of this one um performance really good uh, projection is not beast but you know it's not bad and it and it lasts quite a long time eight nine hours if i remember right maybe more um this one's already discontinued, and it's starting to go up in price. I had a quick look online. I didn't do any major research or anything. Just, but, uh, yeah, it's too bad because people are already starting to, man, remember, Play Intense by Shivanshi? That was a great one. Um, the next one is kind of what started it. Like I said, I, I, we're at Yves Saint Laurent, and I was looking at stuff, and I couldn't find this anywhere. The three different shoppers. Uh, I don't know if it's discontinued yet or not if not i'm pretty sure it's going to be and uh it's uh lot of weed alone oh electric not the new one the blue electric or whatever it is um this is the one that everybody says smells like arrows and even i did it first because in the initial blast does smell very similar to arrows uh but after about 20 minutes that Arrows really arrow the apple basically. The sweet apple kind of goes away, and you're left with uh the sweetness is still there. I mean, there's a lot of tonk in this too. Vanilla, maybe, maybe benzene, maybe all three. I don't know. One of them vanilla like smells. And uh but you're left with basically that vanilla sweetness and that arrows kind of sweetness mixed with the lot of weed alone, uh, DNA, the lavender, the cardamom, the spices, uh, it's super nice, it, it, it went from being an arrows clone in my mind to when I wore it a couple days after, to, uh, probably, or the last, um, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite lot of weed alones, if not my favorite now, um, it's basically, you took, take the best parts of arrows, 
and the best parts of Lana Wheel Gnome and the best parts of Armani Code and kind of threw them all into a bottle in a good way, like a Frankenstein way <laughs> or not a Frankenstein way. And uh, yeah, uh, it's sweet enough and youthful enough to be worn by pretty much teenagers um, all the way up to young adults. It's powdery and spicy and classy enough to be worn by old men like me. I mean, just anyone in between. And it really does smell like a toned down version of Arrow. So I don't want to give off that because it doesn't have that beast projection or performance. I'm only getting about five or six hours out of it. Um, but yeah, it's another one I think people are... Well, I'm starting to see it now, actually. You go on YouTube, there's a few more videos for this than there was before. And it's starting to pick up a tiny little bit of steam. Uh, if you could find it, get it, guys. Because I'm pretty sure that if this isn't discontinued... Yves Saint Laurent has a habit of discontinuing loam and loving me to loam flankers like crazy. I'm pretty sure this one's going next. Um, and if you like, basically a uh, slightly sweeter version of loving me to loam with some vanilla in the base. It's a very classy, believe it or not. A sweet, classy scent. Doesn't happen a lot. Um, this next one, I'm not sure if it's discontinued either. I heard it was because they're focusing more on some new stuff. Um... Gentleman Da Vinci, the EDT. Um, again, not my favorite off the top. I'm not a big fan of that pear note. It's just too synthetic and overpowering. But man, once it dies down and that iris starts coming out, it mixes the iris and the lavender and the pear and this iris powdery, slightly sweet, soft scent on top of that. It's, it's just, it's super good. Super good. And performance is not bad for the type of scent. I'm getting, like, I remember, eight plus hours. Projection, pretty damn good. And it's another one of those scents that, uh, yeah, I think it's just going to go, people are going to go away. And people, man, remember, remember that gentleman, Greg Da Vinci? Yeah. Man, how much is that going for? Oh, too much money. Um, So, yeah, what do you think, guys? What do you think of those five? Do you think those five have potential to be, you know, Lost arcs, I guess. Um, do you think any of them do? Do you think one or two of them, all of them? Like, just let me know. Um, let me know a couple of yours, too. I I'm always interested in seeing what you guys think. You know that. So, uh, yeah, it was just a quick video, guys, just for fun. Um, I'll be back with a review of that uh, dupe for Aqua de Geo, whatever it is, Perfumo or not Perfumo, uh, Absolute. Absolute, <laughs> I guess. Taste love, be good to each other.